force be with you. Yes, we understand. Search for expert help. Here I am. <laughs> Search over. Is it true that Earth has been attracting extraterrestrials from all over the galaxy and throughout many realms of dimensions making contact with humans to prepare us for the unimaginable changes that are about to unfold in our lifetime? Has Earth become the most fascinating and curious planet for highly evolved beings to explore and observe how? Humanity can fall into such depths of darkness and despair and still find a way into the light. That is special and powerful. Is 2023 the ticking clock towards open contact with humanity and that the countdown now begins? That we are captivating them towards Earth to see how we are doing it. Is there something they are learning from us? Are we teaching them valuable lessons in their spiritual arsenal? That the earth is a master class for the human soul and therefore has attracted ET species who now monitor our progress. So that they can show other civilizations in the galaxy and beyond going through similar challenges how we did it, and that we are an inspiration to millions of beings watching from afar. Would it be possible that if we are being visited and monitored by highly evolved beings, that they would have come to an understanding in their civilization that we are all connected and brought forth by the same Creator? What if during the alien abduction period that a parallel race of humans that destroyed their planet and genetically okay, mutated okay. themselves into the beings we now call okay. the Greys, being very okay, advanced okay. in their technology, but not okay. in their spirituality or empathy, led to the destruction of their world. And that these dying beings, with very little time left, made a last ditch effort to shift into an alternate reality earth where our DNA was taken and was mixed with their own genetic makeup to create a very highly advanced race that would now express the emotions that they could no longer produce. A civilization of hybrid beings the Sasani, in their ancient language, Sasani means living light. These beings who had a great boost to their evolution have discovered many great truths about how the universe truly functions and it is of great joy to them to share this knowledge with humanity. And that they made an agreement to connect telepathically in this life to help steer the course of planet Earth as we know it. Basically, the idea of what you typically on your planet refer to as an angelic energy. We can euphemistically say, now of course this is in a sense a symbol, but we can euphemistically say that they are the next step down from all that is. 
the first split off from all that is, are what you call angelic consciousnesses. Does that make sense, first of all? Not yet. All right. You understand the concept of all that is? Yes. What you typically call God? Yes. Well, you understand that everything is made of God, yes? Yes. Therefore, everything in a sense is like a step down, taking the frequency and differentiating it and splitting it up into smaller and smaller and smaller pieces? Yes? Yes. All right. Well, the angelic realm is the first step down from God. The first reflection of all that is into many reflections. That's what you call the angelic level. Does that make sense? Yes. Ascended masters are simply beings who allow themselves to incorporate within their expression of being in any given reality more or most of the totality of the collective consciousness of that reality and their vibration raises up and they can sometimes remain in that reality dispensing information sharing information or they can ascend to the point where they completely leave that reality maybe even leave physical reality altogether ascension is just a matter of degree of frequency in the same way that you could say that steam is the ascended master of ice for over 35 years Daryl has been a biological translator for an extraterrestrial hybrid being named Bashar, who is a contact specialist from his world. And in return for the life we have given them, they have great gratitude, wisdom, and secrets about reality they wish to share with mankind, with a deep longing in their hearts to meet us face to face as they see us as their parents. They will not be the first to land their ships. No, there is another, but that will be for another chapter. In this story, the Esasani seem to be very interested and passionate about encouraging the masses to live their joy to the fullest with love, excitement, and intention. And they have even revealed a treasure map a blueprint on how to achieve such wonders that they call the formula. It is a set of guidelines and principles that will bring about an effortless life filled with unending joy and excitement for the human species, incredible synchronicity, abundance, and infinite probability. But would humanity listen to the advice of a five-foot extraterrestrial with larger eyes and no hair? If this is true, that we don't have to suffer and struggle doing something we were never meant to do. That planning our day and figuring everything out was actually pushing away our desires that were trying very hard to get to you. That our physical mind was never designed to understand how things were going to happen. Its actual purpose was to comprehend what was happening to you right now. That the way for miracles to flow into our lives was the opposite of what we were being told. That working hard in a career that does not bring you any joy, that is not a living, that is a dying that miracles actually happen in the absence of reasoning and thinking how it will come, leaving room for the universe to bring gifts to you as you marvel at what has just been manifested before your very eyes. That when doing something that makes you happy, time flies by. In actuality, it is you being in your own channeling state. As the day goes by, you have no idea how or where time went. This is your signal that you are in your highest passion. Now, according to Bashar, acting on your highest excitement and taking action can start slow and easy and something we can do right now. It doesn't mean we have to start banging on doors and jumping up and down. That going for a walk, listening to music, watching a movie, 
talking to a friend, reading a book, singing, and painting are all exciting activities you can do right here, right now, which will get the energetic ball moving, that this will be a very fun process for you, that will feel effortless as it is your own true energy field that you will be drifting into. It will not contain anxiety, fear, or panic in having to get to this grand dream that with all the opportunities available to you, choose the one that carries the slightly higher feeling of fun and excitement. Pick that one and enjoy the moment. And now, with that happy feeling you have just created, we now use our skills, talents, and your imagination to create an even more powerful ball of energy flowing through you. Almost ready for launch, aiming for the moon, that even if you miss, you'll land amongst the stars. As you act on your joy to the best of your ability and find yourself tired or you physically don't have the energy to do it anymore, that's when you can relax and rest as you were not meant to go any further for the day. After you rest, pick the next highest form of joy that's in front of you that you are able to take. This will never contain hurting others breaking laws, or unethical behavior. This is a beautiful treasure map. And in between the days of you acting on your passion and excitement, take the precious time to visualize in your mind's eye the ideal you who is living your dreams. What is he believing, saying, and doing how does she walk and talk with others along the path of your yellow brick road to the kingdom of your destiny? Mimic that person that you saw when your eyes were closed. Be in that energy state. This is your soul showing you who you really are and your true nature and authority and influence over physical reality. Now that you felt that power from the picture in your mind, know that it is very real. You must believe that other you is already existing in some alternate reality earth, that you are shifting through infinite versions of you by who you are being in this very moment of now that circumstances do not matter. Only your state of being matters. That miracles were not designed to make any logical sense to the human mind. That they have their own natural wonder, life force, and breathtaking crusade, independent of human logic and reasoning. And the way to flow into the state of miracles and an effortless life is to then close your eyes and hold the hand of God at the edge of the cliff, looking down at the endless ocean of life, and take that leap of faith by utterly letting it all go, jumping off the cliff into the unknown and unseen knowing that no harm can happen to you, that in the middle of your fall, a sense of peace and serenity flows within you. You notice you can start to fly as your fear is dissipating, and you realize I can control where I land. By dropping all expectations and having no insistence of the outcome, you can now allow that space for divine miracles to fill that void for you. Having left that space 
and invitation for the extraordinary to now take over. As you have gotten your physical mind and ego out of the way, trying to control, plan and organize every aspect of your life and day, that the glory and power that you have only forgotten will now be back in your heart and something more incredible than you possibly could have imagined from your mind's eye can now reveal itself to you. You are home. This is who you really are and where you have come from. Now that you have discovered and awakened to your new powers, learning what God has truly created within the complex universe, that its beauty is in its actual simplicity and loving playground for you to be, declare and explore who you truly are. That as a spiritual being acting with integrity will integrate you with your true divine mission which is to be yourself and that all the love, support and unending expressions of abundance and knowledge will be with you as this is simply divine physics and how physical reality operates to our advantage that we can manipulate time and space and have authority over the physical universe and that there is no competition because there is enough success for each and every one of you as you are actually in your own private of infinite universes and that everyone you see and interact with are reflections in a mirror of you it is your reality and everyone is like a hologram and a guest in your universe based on your thoughts words and beliefs. See them as angels in disguise and guides that come to interact with you. To see if you need to change anything about your beliefs, especially if certain emotions rise within you. Therefore, there is infinite amounts of love, power and success waiting just for you. This will be the force that will drive and carry you onward and beyond. That this formula will organize and schedule your day for you in the perfect timing and you will know and feel which order you need to act. And that this is the smoothest and least bumpy road to be on as it will feel effortless, thrilling and inspiring. Energetically this will lead you to more and more thrilling adventures in whatever form it takes that you needed to experience to get you to where you need to be and with whom nothing will be left out that you needed to see, hear and explore. Trust it. I suppose that the very intention of Bashar and his civilization would not contact us if he did not feel we were ready. That humanity has made momentous steps in our understanding of our connection with each and every one. That we choose love, kindness and compassion over all things. And that we have entered through a magical gate in creation, so much so that we are now in the window for humanity's greatest revelation in our lifetime. That we will be ready in meeting our soul family and yes, even our star children that are already starting to live amongst us. This is a great signpost of the most incredible future for humankind. That you have traveled to a new earth where stories of fairy tales and movies are now becoming breaking news. Leading us to a spectacular incident that the world will know in the year of 2026 to 2027 
a major contact event will occur that will usher in a mass awakening as we move faster and closer to open contact with our galactic family. May the force of love and light be with you, and always with you. Remember, please remember, if you have a gift to give, that means there has to be someone waiting to receive it. Otherwise, you wouldn't be excited about having that gift, about expressing yourself that way. So please do not deprive others of the gift that they are waiting to receive from you. Let go, open up, take the actions every day, as best as you can, every moment that you can, on the things that give you joy. You have to demonstrate through your actions what this reality you prefer would actually be like where people would automatically do those kinds of things. You have to be the first, foremost, living example of the behaviors that belong in the realities you prefer. So the idea then is as you go through life, as you act on your passion, best you can, as you let go of the insistence on what the outcome should look like, as you remain by choice in a positive state no matter what happens so that you can derive the benefit from that circumstance also put yourselves out there take the actions that are representative of that passion don't hesitate don't hold back if you feel like you need to express yourself through writing write if you need to express yourself through painting paint if you need to express yourself through acting act in some way, shape, or form, express your creativity, express who you are through the physical actions on a daily basis so that others may see through you as a living example what that reality looks like and what the citizens of that reality do. Acting on your passion must be done for its own sake, not because of what you think doing that will get you. Otherwise, you're making your passion conditional and as soon as you make it conditional, you lower your frequency. Because it shouldn't matter what does or doesn't happen in the world around you, in the reflection of physical reality, because you know that whatever it is that happens is going to be able to serve you because you're going to remain in the state that will allow it to do so. 